Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general weekend message for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, March 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, 2019. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. I just wanted to shout out uh, in gratitude for your patience uh, about yesterday. I had things to do, plus it was the uh, sixth anniversary of my husband's uh, passing yesterday. So I really felt that I needed to take the day off, get things done. Uh, but thank you so much for your patience um, in regards to that. Uh, so in regards to this spread, quite interesting. It's five above, five below, no clarifiers as of yet. I did pull an outcome card and three clarifiers here. Uh, I feel there could be definitely two different energies going on here is definitely what I was feeling as well. It's just a flat out message as well. You first start off with the Nine of Wands. I was chosen to use this deck for a reason. I feel this is the reason why. Uh, the Nine of Wands, especially with this deck, tells me is that this has been a long journey. Nine is so close to that ten. In regards to like a rocky road, you see how the waters are really rough and you can't sail through that. In regards to love now. Now you could be a water sign. You could be dealing with the water sign. But it's kind of like you're kind of thinking about things. The eyes are closed in regards to this situation, in regards to love, that you've been more than patient with, with the temperance card here. Sagittarius energy as well. I feel that you're kind of trying to regain balance back in your life again with the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles also represents somebody has not been communicating, I feel. Uh, they've been holding within as well. Uh, because right underneath that is the hangman. Major Arcana, there's that stagnation. Is somebody holding back exactly how they're feeling for quite some time, okay? Uh, right after that hangman, you have the, not, the Knight of Wands. So very fiery, very passionate, okay? But it's coming in at a slow pace. He's literally heading towards the hangman. So here this, um, you know, pick up and go kind of feeling of going, 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 but stagnant. You know, that's where you're, it's kind of like you're stuck at that stop sign, that red light that refuses to turn green again, you know. Uh, but don't worry, I feel that you're going to get that balance, I feel, with the sun card here. Sun card is actually known as the yes card. It's actually a very beautiful. It's the best card that you can get, okay. So it's very positive, I feel, in regards to... Uh, Patience needed in regards to somebody that is holding back, but things are going to turn around because right after that, you have the full card here. Full card is a major kind of meaning taking that leap of faith, having a new start. All right. Now, here it is. The full card, I always take notice to what they're pointing at, looking at. His energy is kind of like, you see this? You know, up to the Queen of Cups here. This is what I want. I want a new start in regards to love. But. I also feel that there's definitely a decision to be made in regards to the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles in other decks, the one Pentacles down, the other one's up. That new start, I feel, especially with the Four of Pentacles here as well, this tells me is that I want a lot of Pentacles. These things are huge, okay? That represents the balance in the situation, okay? Making a decision to not only have a new start, with balance in your life, but making a decision in regards to something that was very heartbreaking. You have the three of swords here. Now, just for some of you out there, okay, I feel that somebody out there is extremely frustrated in regards to love. They've been patiently waiting, all right, for quite some time. Somebody's been definitely holding back, but things are going to get better, I feel. Yeah, it's been slow. Yeah, it's like you keep starting kind of thing and you and you wind up at a traffic light, you know, that red light there where it stops, all right? This is your chance, I feel, to get a new start. Making that decision in regards to love to regain your balance in your life, to make that decision to regain the balance after a very heartbreaking situation, this says to me, okay? Now, for some of you, I was just going to say this, but for some of you, not everybody, to have the Two of Pentacles right next to the Three of Swords, yes, I am going there. Uh, there is going to be a decision made in regards to a third-party situation, okay? I normally don't say that, but, and third-party doesn't mean that there's three playing around in the sack, you know? Three means anything, really. Uh, somebody is interfering, I feel, in regards to communication. They're cutting off my voice, so... Something that somebody has to hold back in. They're making that decision in regards to there's a person messing on the side, okay, uh, interfering with another relationship here. That's a third party, as well as just being in a third party situation and deciding what to do in regards to that third party, okay? Now, here's the outcome here. You have the Seven of Cups. 
Seven of Cups is normally known for confusion. It could be, absolutely. But what I'm really feeling here, the Seven of Cups for this situation is options. Uh, that also represents the Seven of Cups. There's definite options in regards to getting on your right path, okay, with the Judgment card here. That's a decision, spiritually guided, meant to be on your right path, all right? Clarified again, Chariot. So there's definite movement, major arcana, making that decision to get on your right path and having that movement towards a new beginning with the Ace of Cups here. Now, what I'm seriously feeling all in all is basically somebody's had enough, all right, with that Nine of Wands frustrated, going over these big, huge waves kind of feeling, rough roads that you've been dealing with, been patient, going back and forth uh, emotionally with that relationship, okay? Somebody's been holding back, but someone's also been patient with themselves, I feel, in regards to getting that bounce back in their life again. Things are going to turn out okay, I feel, okay, with that sun card there. But that person needs to make a decision either A, not for everybody, in a third-party situation, okay, or B, definitely making a decision about the bounce, all right, because this has been going on way too long. They're making a decision to enough is enough with the heartbreak, the heart wrenching, the patience, uh, being feeling stabbed in the back kind of thing, and turning that around by having that option with the outcome card of the Seven of Cups here to make that decision to be on your right path, move forward to a new love, okay? Now, some of you who is dealing with a twin flame here, I'm sorry, did I say twin flame? Who is dealing with... <laughs> Who's dealing with a third party? If I said it, must mean it. Uh, but yeah, okay. Uh, but definitely could be dealing with a twin flame. I didn't mean to say that. I apologize. But if it came out, there's a reason why. Uh, who has a third party situation, who is making that decision to bring balance back into a very stagnant situation in regards to a third party. Uh, and that is what I have. Let me see. Nine of Wands. So yeah, it is time. It, it's time to make that decision. More so in regards to bringing balance back into this situation. Long enough waiting. This is such a twin flame. It really is. Patience with three of swords. Heart wrenching. Hangman. This is definitely twin flame. Definitely. Thank you. Uh, stagnant situation. You know, in and out energy of that Knight of Wands. But keeps running into that red light at the traffic light there. But there is a brighter, better future. Hang on, they want me to clarify that sun. Clarify that sun. Too many. Queen of Swords. So, yes, I do feel that there is going to be some type of communication. Somebody's going to follow through. Somebody's going to communicate to uh, start anew, okay? Whether you hear communication about, you know, third party coming to a close okay, or just communication to bring balance back into your life again, okay, and that would start that new beginning of your life of balance, seriously, so that is what I have for whomever this is meant for, I hope that this helps, thank you again so much, I really need to take the day off, it was a crazy busy day, and uh, it was, it's just rough, it's rough sometimes when that time of the year comes around when you lose that special person in your life, I just needed to calm my mind and get things organized and just I don't know, just zen myself a little bit for yesterday. So thank you so much for the uh, opportunity to do that. You guys have a great, great weekend. Go out and enjoy it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.